Now, India witnessed inconsistent rainfall patterns this year. Delay in the arrival of the monsoon led to a large rain deficit, causing the agriculture sector to face severe consequences ranging from crop loss to irregular growth. Our next report gets you more on how the El Nino weather phenomena cast its shadow on Indian agriculture, leading to inconsistent monsoon this year. Take a look. Due to the fast-pacing climate change phenomena, higher temperatures and unanticipated rainfall have become common. The increasing heat stress is limiting crop yield growth, interfering with the crop's reproduction and growth cycles. Agriculture is the lifeblood of India. In India, a significant portion of agriculture depends on rainfall rather than irrigation. Around 50% of India's crop cultivation area is rain-fed. This makes it particularly vulnerable to climate impacts. The monsoon season that falls in the summer is important for the agricultural season. During this time, the central and western regions receive around 90% of their annual rainfall, while the southern and northwestern regions receive 50 to 75% of the annual rainfall. In India, monsoon usually lasts from June to September, with the peak monsoon season falling in July and August. Now what's important to note is that India is the world's largest producer of milk, pulses, ginger, okra, banana, mango and papaya. Meanwhile, the second largest produce of onion, rice, wheat, sugarcane, peanuts and cotton. Out of all these crops, rice makes for the biggest part of India's cereal exports. It accounted for about 80% of the revenue during the financial year 2022-23. to Rice also is the most sensitive to fluctuations in monsoon rainfall among all other crops. Many researchers believe India's increasing dependency on rice is raising its vulnerability to climate change-induced food security. Due to the rise in temperature and changes in water availability, climate change is affecting irrigated agricultural production throughout agroecological zones. Further, climate change is also expected to increase the risk of deadly heat waves in South Asia. With a population of around 1.3 billion, India is facing rising scarcity of water resources. This is due to population growth, urbanization and climate change. Now, these challenges have a significant impact on agriculture as it consumes about 78% of the fresh water. According to Indian Ministry of Agriculture, hydrometeorological calamities, including heavy rainfall and floods, have damaged over 83 million acres of India's cropped area between 2015 and 16 and 2021 and 22. Rajasthan, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh and Maharashtra are among the most affected states which faced crop losses from drought and excess rainfall. Other states where floods and heavy rains are predominant factors for crop loss were Bihar, West Bengal, Uttar Pradesh, Assam, Gujarat and Odisha. The Indian states have seen it all. Talking about this year in particular, monsoon in India has been erratic due to El Nino weather phenomena. This is impacting agricultural production while leading to a spike in food prices, especially vegetables. Beer Report, we on World is One. Now for more on this, we are now joined by Mr. Mahesh Palavat. He's the Vice President of SkyMet Weather. Welcome to the show, sir. Uh, can, you, can you briefly explain the effects of the erratic rains on the summer sown and winter sown crops? See, yeah, Aditi, uh, we have seen uh, this year the monsoon was very erratic as uh, the onset was delayed by around eight days. And uh, in the month of uh, June itself, we have seen a cyclone vapor joy, uh, which has given very heavy downpour over Gujarat and Rajasthan in the month of June itself, because until then, monsoon usually do not set in over these states. But due to this particular cyclone, we have seen the deficient rain over South Peninsula, uh, central India and East and Northeast India in the month of June. Overall rainfall was very less and uh, July uh, in the month of July we have seen uh, Subsequent rainfall and uh, one after another weather system developing over Bay of Bengal leading to surplus rain. But 
this year we have seen the august 2023 was the driest august in last 122 years and this was the impact of el nino and uh, the el nino impact is seen after july in the month of august but fortunately in the month of september we have seen two weather system low pressure areas developing over bay of bengal which has given sufficient rain over many parts of the india but due to scarcity of rain and erratic rainfall we have seen the uh, the kharif crop particularly the guar moth and uh, uh, pulses in uh, rajasthan gujarat and madhya pradesh as well as parts of maharashtra uh, they uh, uh, they have uh, taken the hit and the below normal rainfall or you can say deficient rainfall in eastern parts of the uttar pradesh bihar jharkhand west bengal north east india until now uh, the deficiency is persisting over these areas due to erratic monsoon rains uh, so kharif crop Uh, the yield and uh, uh, you can say quality of kharif crop uh, is very less now, and uh, uh, the most impacted crop in Rajasthan is guar, and uh, many parts of West Bengal, uh, uh, East, Eastern uh, East India, we have seen the paddy crop uh, is suffering, and now also, uh, but but this these rain uh, rain activities which we have seen in the month of September. Uh, which uh, it's more than enough and the uh, surplus rain going on in the month of September. Uh, September. So these rains will be beneficial for upcoming crop, uh, rabi crops in the uh, which on the winter season, particularly uh, wheat crop in the central part of the country, East in East India and Northwest India. Uh, so impact of rain is uh, very prominent this year. Yeah. Sure. So. Um... as we are all kind of coming to terms with the effects of el nino as you also mentioned the positive side that we could be looking at monsoon this year overall looks good but can you explain how the pattern has been irregular this year you see uh, usually the monsoon uh, progresses uh, with a uh, you can say uniform pace after uh, hitting kerala coast but this year the monsoon was erratic and uh, rainfall was uh, far below normal over uh, most parts of the country and monsoon onset was uh, progress of monsoon was delayed over eastern parts of the country and after june 23 uh, the monsoon progressed very in very fast pace from eastern parts of uttar pradesh to uh, uh, western parts of rajasthan in the span of just 9 days it covered entire country so after that the monsoon was erratic or we can say the impact of uh, al nino and climate change was uh, more prominent in the month of uh, august particularly august was the driest uh, august and uh, before the onset of monsoon in the pre monsoon season also we have seen that during the month of march the temperatures were very high which has impacted the uh, yield and uh, the production of uh, ravi crop in the month of june because heat stress you uh, 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 impact the yield and uh, the quality of crops yes. so uh, until now uh, we can say the monsoon was not as per norms because uh, the june was deficient july was surplus then august was deficient then september was is surplus so at the time when rainfall was required in the month of august there was no rain when uh, the harvesting was going on uh, for the kharif crops in the month of september uh, there were uh, very uh, heavy showers leading to damage to crops yeah sure so what i can see is that the timing has been quite off when it comes to monsoon this season coming to my last question we keep hearing that climate change is making weather extreme is there any long term predictions for the yearly monsoons you see aditi now we we think that the impact of monsoon rains uh, will be erratic because uh, we have seen the impact of climate change now el nino is uh, also added there uh, but if if there is no alino or lanina or it is a neutral condition then also we will see the erratic monsoon to continue in coming years also because now due to climate change air temperature is rising and uh, the capacity to of air to hold moisture is also increasing mm -hmm. this leads to formation of uh, 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 vertically uh, vertically developed clouds which are capable of giving heavy downpour in a short span of time which which is usually known as cloud burst and heavy downpour which uh, which we have seen in the uh, Uh, uh recently in the nagpur and uh, in the month of july we have seen flooding in uh, rajasthan and gujarat so the rainfall uh, amount the quantum of rain fall which used to take place in the span of 4 to 5 days earlier in the 80s and 90s the same quantum of rainfall is taking place in a span of say 24 hours and sometimes 8 to 10 hours so this type of rain is not beneficial so 
uh, the erratic uh, monsoon as well as the extreme weather events will keep on rising as we progress further until unless we address the uh, the regions of uh, the climate change thank you yeah. thank you mr balawat for joining us